Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix Atomic Heart fatal error crashing on startup on Windows 10 or Windows 11. So let's just jump right in. The first solution that you should take in consideration, as simple as it may sound, is to restart your PC. Now, as you may well know, restarting your computer will solve a wide range of issues. So press the start button, then click on the power icon and select the restart option. And then you can check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to run Atomic Heart as an administrator. Now in order to do this, just right click on the Atomic Heart icon on your desktop and select the Run as Administrator option. And if you see that this option will prove useful to you, you can also set Atomic Heart to run as an administrator directly. So to do this, click on Properties when you right click the icon and afterwards in the Atomic Heart Properties window, select the Compatibility tab and here in the Settings category, make sure to tick the box next to Run this program as an administrator. Now select apply and ok and from now on you won't have any problems running the game as an administrator. Then we can move on to the next solution and that's to verify the integrity of the game files. This will be shown in the Steam application if you own the game on Steam and afterwards right click the Atomic Heart game and select the properties option. Now in here just click on local files on the left pane and as you can see you have a button that says verify integrity of game files. So just click on this button and then make sure to wait until Steam will try to locate if there's any corrupted files and fix them as soon as possible. You can then just restart your PC and try to check if the problem still persists. Next another great solution is to update the graphics drivers. Now the first thing you can do is to right click the Windows button, then select Device Manager from the list of options and in here in the Device Manager window make sure to expand Display Adapters, then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. Now just click on Search automatically for drivers and Windows will try to find the best drivers available on your PC. Otherwise you can also perform a manual install by downloading the drivers from the manufacturer's website. So to do this just open up your default browser and access one of the links that I posted in the description below if you either own an Nvidia graphics card or an AMD graphics card. So let's just start with the Nvidia driver support. As you can see in here just choose the corresponding product for your graphics card and click on the search button and you'll see that the latest version will be shown and you can click on the download button. Now the last thing you have to do is confirm once again by clicking on the download button, choose a location, preferably on your desktop, and then click on save. And after downloading the driver, just make sure to double click on it and start with the on-screen instructions to install it. Now moving on, on the AMD drivers, you'll just have to do the same, just choose your product in here, then make sure to click on submit, then simply expand the section for the operating system you currently have on your PC and just click on the AMD software Adrenaline Edition driver. Now once again choose a location, preferably on your desktop and select the save button. The same goes with this driver, just wait until the download is finished and afterwards just proceed by double clicking on it and following the on-screen instruction to finish the installation procedure. And that's it, afterwards restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another great solution is to run an SFC scan. Now to do this press the Windows button then simply type CMD and then run command prompt as an administrator. Now in here in the command prompt window make sure to type in the following command and then press enter after this command. You'll see that it will take a bit of time so don't lose patience. Afterwards, after the procedure is finished, just restart your computer and then you can check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and as usual, subscribe to our channel. Thank you.